welcome back today i wanted to come to you guys with a quick review if you guys are wondering what that noise is that's my fan in the bathroom because i legit just got done showering and all that good stuff and i unfortunately had to rewash my hair because i tried some new products out and also welcome to all of my new subscribers i'm so sorry thank you guys for first of all subscribing if you came over from instagram kudos to you because you guys know i love instagram and i just live over on instagram so if you came from over there or if you may have came from another social media outlet thank you so much for coming over to youtube and joining our growing community of queens where we are discovering the queen who is she within me but today we are highlighting eden body works and you guys know that's like one of my favorite holy grail ride or die brands and today i shampoo using their all natural shampoo from the jojoba manoy collection and you guys been using this for like two years now love it not looking bad it's one of those shampoos where i would suggest that you pre-poo before using but since i did have a lot of product on my hair i went in with this shampoo because i knew it was just really going to just help lift all that product off of my hair as well as pretty much cleansing my scalp as well then i followed that using their all natural conditioner from the peppermint tree peppermint <laughs> tea tree collection you guys and i really do love this conditioner you can use it for a rinse out conditioner and that's what i did so i just put it pretty much focused it really close towards the scalp because it does again contain tea tree and tea tree is very good for those who may have itchy or irritated scalps i love this one it really does help with giving you that tingling sensation it really does relieve all of that itchiness and that irritability that you may have had prior to even going in with your wash day so that's what i love about eating body works all of their products are natural they don't contain any kind of parabens or sulfates you guys like literally i have been using them now going on for almost three years so i really do like them so today i'm actually going to be trying out a new product and this is the natural curling jelly from the coconut shea collection and i shared this with you guys early on in the year when they had a sale on their website and i took advantage and this is one of the products that i purchased on that haul so i'm a cream girl especially when it comes to wash and goes but this year i've been branching out more with trying gels and seeing which brands work and do not work for my natural hair so i am a type 3 c 4 a naturally so if you are new to my channel so you guys let's get into this wash and go i'm excited all right guys so i'm just gonna tie this towel around my shoulders so that way you know i don't get my cami and all that good just soaking soaking wet this is pretty much going to be like a quick walk through of any other form of wash and go that i would typically be doing simply just going to go back in with some water and rehydrate per se each section because it did get a little dry they're not dry but they're not damp like it should be so, and just pretty much mist it down with some more water oh, my hair smells so freaking good and that's what i love about eating body works all their products smell phenomenal and they're very inexpensive like literally every product is like less than eight dollars i believe so now we're going to take some of the leave-in and this is from the coconut shea collection and y'all i live for this leave-in this is like primarily the only uh leave-in that i would honestly say that i use for my wash and go so try to get my camera to get in focus so here we go and this is with the leave-in and i'm doing this based off of a review i'm like honestly just watched this morning this is my bag this is the one that i live and ride for y'all like literally this is like my favorite leave-in conditioner so i'm just gonna go in with a little bit more and simply just put a little bit more at the roots i don't want to get too crazy and then have product build up at the roots you know we're not going for that look so yeah and this is what my hair looks like with the actual leave-in on you guys and i just love love this leave-in conditioner like literally so i'm just going to simply put some of the um natural curling jelly on top so this is what it looks like and y'all i have not used it so this is a white gel as you guys can see and i don't want to get too crazy because it says it gives like a nice hold but not like a too crazy hold from my understanding it's like a lightweight hold but we're just gonna put this on top of here and see how my hair reacts to it because everyone's hair is different it really is everyone's hair is different okay and i'm just gonna go through here and smooth it down i noticed that too i still get frizz at the roots for whatever reason but it's nothing what you gonna do there's nothing you can do about that just go with the flow 
So this is what my hair looks like with the gel on top of the um, all natural coconut shea leave-in conditioner. What do y'all think? Comment down below if you guys are liking what you're seeing so far. Alright queen, so this is what my hair is looking like so far. And as you guys can tell, it does give a nice hold. I like the fact that it is not like a heavy hold. I'm very appreciative of that. It's not, it's very lightweight. Like my hair is like legit dry in the back. Like I'm really, really, really liking the results. So. <laughs> so I want to actually just share with you guys here on camera this front section and how I do it you know pretty much just layering the products on but this is what this section looks like you guys and I am liking it I'm glad I did film this in the bathroom so that way you guys can see a little bit clearer versus me you know being where I normally film and set up but I really am liking the definition so I'm just simply going to finish on this section right here so you guys can see it but let me take this down now I did notice that you have to smooth this product in this natural curling jelly yeah I would definitely not do the raking method because it does cause it to bog up on the hair for whatever reason so if you're gonna use it along with the coconut shea leave-in conditioner definitely make sure that you're making sure that you smooth it through your hair I would even do the shingling method so that's what I started doing especially here in the front because my hair texture is different and I want to make sure that this does not necessarily have all that balling up on it because I can't stand that that's usually what happens it just balls up on my hair so and I like the fact too in how it is drying and my hair does not feel dry but if it does tend to get a little dry after I do apply all of these products on my hair I am going to use their natural hair oil which I love 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 I wish they had this in like a body oil form so like it could have like an additional scent to it so even if you're watching this please come out with like body oil because I would definitely like slather it all over my body and just get all my life like literally because I like this for the hair but I don't know how it would actually work on the skin so I haven't tried it that way but yes we're simply just going to go ahead and go on to this section and this section has dry um some but curling jelly and it's so liquidy too so that's why it's like not like a super super strong hold which I like and you don't have to use a lot of it so this is what it looks like it's just clear literally clear and so I'm just going to smooth this onto the hair but then you'll see I'm going to go through and shingle it too so that way I can make sure it's smooth down so yeah like see how I'm just raking it through here it causes it to ball up on my hair but when I go through and shingle and make sure that I'm smoothing it down like all the way through and making sure that my fingers are pressed it takes that away and it's going to help with making sure that it dries properly too so that's been another thing I've been learning since my hair texture has changed some for whatever reason and I think it's just because my hair is getting longer um yeah it's just it just did I just smack my camera I think I did <laughs> but um yeah it's just like my curl pattern has just been changing slowly so yeah y'all so I'm just gonna smooth my hand down like that at the root because I don't want none of that fuzzy stuff going on and yeah so I really do like it I like this product because again it's not gonna give you that super duper duper hard as a rock hole which I'm appreciative of because I'm actually just going to pull my hair up and just rock it that way so yes yeah, so I'm just going to continue putting this on you guys and yes So here are the final results after I have applied the coconut shade natural leave-in conditioner as well as the natural curling jelly and I must say that this product you guys 
I like it. Like my hair is like legit dry in the back. Already dry. Yes. So far from where I'm looking and for what I can tell, it does fall up on the hair. But again, I would highly, highly recommend that you smooth it down doing the praying hand method as you guys saw me doing in the video like that. And then following that by doing the actual shingling method. So yes, to in order to really make sure that you want this product to just really just dry flawlessly, I would highly recommend doing that. Now my hair is still drying. My hair is still drying here in the front, but I know in the back it is fully dry. I hope that this does not flake up after today, you guys, and I hope that it doesn't flake on the first day, and I pray that the products actually just absorb into the hair nicely without leaving little balls. I'm happy that it is of a liquidy formulation because for me and my specific hair type, it just helps with the product actually absorbing into the hair a lot quicker and also aiding with the drying time a lot faster you guys it really does help with the drying time usually I have a lot of shrinkage too and I'm not really experiencing a lot of shrinkage even on the back yes I do have a tail like I always do it's nothing I can do about that but I'm not going to cut my hair I would just simply put my hair into a high puff to give it the illusion of everything being uniform in the back but you guys I really do love Eden Body Works I just I just love them they just work for my hair type I love the fact that they're inexpensive their products are always creamy moisturizing and hydrating for your hair and I feel that anytime that I use Eden Body Works on wash day I do not have to go back in throughout the week to have to either um, rehydrate or re-moisturize my natural hair and pretty much take care of all that on my wash day which leaves me for the rest of the week to have time to film create work do whatever I need to do and not have to worry about maintaining my long ridiculous thick natural hair <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video today queens and again if my hair does tend to crunch up a little bit later on or if it does give off like a white cast or what have you um yeah i am going to go in with their natural hair oil oh my gosh i wish they had a body oil because i would legit just pour it all over me and get my whole life that's just how much i love eating body works so check out sally's and you can check out eating body works they're always having a buy two get one free sale that's how i usually rack up on them thank you so much for hanging out with me today queens if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up i need to see some thumbs up you guys so that way i know if you're liking the content or not make sure to comment down below interact with me you guys and make sure to subscribe so that way you can be notified when I upload new content so make sure you tap the bell ding 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 so that way you can be notified and I'll see you guys in my next upload bye queens Mwah.